So hi and welcome to the sec or the uh, third video in the Python 101 video series. And today what we're going to be doing is uh, going over what variables are and how to use them. So um, actually let's just get started. So the first thing you're probably going to know, want to know is what is a variable? So a variable is basically just a placeholder for a value and it's used in programming quite a lot and it's in maths as well. So the best way to explain this is probably just with an example. So we could create a variable called my var, which means my variable. And well, look, okay, let's actually start. So if we're if you're familiar with something like PHP, you'll know that to create a variable, you type in my var equals. Whoops, my var equals. This is my variable. So this is how you create a variable in PHP, but in Python it's different because, well, it's a different programming language. So in PHP you declare that it's a variable you're going to create because of the dollar sign. But in Python you don't need to do that. So in Python all you have to do is type in my var equals, I can just say hello world. And uh, we don't need the semicolon because it's Python so we hit enter so now what I've done is I've assigned the placeholder well it's just a word of my var the value of hello world so now whenever I just say print my var Python knows what I'm trying to print is hello world uh, so the way you do uh, the way of declaring a variable works is you give it the placeholder so if I say num1 uh, which is what I want the variable to be called then to assign a um to assign a value, in in most programming languages, to assign a value in most programming languages, it's just a single equals. And then the programming language knows what directly after the equals is what you want to assign. So as you can see with the um, technically this is a sentence hello world because there's a space and there's punctuation and things in it. So that shows. Or in programming, it means basically we have to surround our sentence in uh, single or double quotes. And in programming, it's called a string. So whenever you see a string, it has to be surrounded in single or double quotes. But with a number, since a number is obviously not a string because there's no uh, spaces in a number and there's no punctuation in a number, all we have to do is type in the name of the number or the uh, number directly after the equals. We don't need to include the uh, single quotes or whatever. So as you can see I've just assigned the value uh, 31 to the variable num1. So now as before if I type in print num1 it gives me 31. And variables you're probably wondering or you're probably thinking to yourself they're pretty pointless because yeah you can assign var our values to them but when would you ever need it? Why wouldn't you just type in hello world or print hello world? I mean uh, print my var and print print hello world. I mean, well, they're the same thing apart from my left at the uh, exclamation mark. But I mean, you're probably thinking, why would you bother uh, using it in a variable? Because even with the variable, you probably worked out that it was slower because I had to declare the variable up there and then I had to print the variable. Whereas here, all I had to do was print the word. So, I mean, you're probably thinking there's no advantage, but uh, variables are good whenever you're, um, uh, well, if you're trying to do a dynamic uh, program, so if you wanted to take input from users or take input from databases and things, you could store the information in variables until you were ready to use it. So, uh, it's useful for things like that, and if you were to use the one value over and over, you can just use a variable instead of the one value so that if you ever wanted to change the value uh, it will just change automatically for all of the times you use the variable so as I said good use of a variable is when you're getting input from a user so let's try that so I'll create a variable and call it user and I'll assign it a function called input and in here all I'm going to type in is what's your favorite number so now if I just hit enter 
As you can see, it says, what's your favorite number? Because this is what the input function does. And then directly after it, all I have to type in is whatever I want. So I can just type in seven and hit enter. And what it does is it assigns the variable user uh, the, um, the uh, value of seven because it has you got the input from me. So now if I was just to print user, it gives me seven. And you can add things together with variables. So if I was to add num1, or if I was to, yeah, just add num1 plus um, user, it gives me 38 because 31 plus 7 is 38. Uh, and if you watch the other videos, uh, you'll know that if you if I was to add 7 plus 8.89.4, uh, no, wait, that's a bad example. Um, if I was to, vi uh, to divide 7 by uh, 7 by 8 or uh, 7 by 5, that won't give me an even uh, return. So if I hit uh, enter, it gives me 1. And obviously, 7 divided by 5 isn't 1, it's just 1 point something. So, uh, um, and if you watch the maths one, you'll know we have to type in 7 point naught divided by 5, and it gives me the real answer, which is 1.4. Uh, so, with a variable, it's the same. So, if I have to type in 1, num1 equals 5, and then num2 equals 6, and then I was to say num2 divided by num1 it gives me one so if I was I have to type in um for this to work I would have to type in num2 equals 6.0 then I could do num2 divided by num1 gives me 1.2 so uh, you could oh yeah I never mentioned uh, you can read uh, reassign variables so if I was to say here num1 equals one Let's just say one for now. And then way down the script, I changed my mind and I said num1 should actually have been set to two. All I have to do is say num1 equals two and it will, it will uh, redeclare the variable or uh, reset its value. But um, for any any code up here that um, already thinks that num1 is one, it will still use num1 as, it will still take num1 as one until I actually changed it which is down here so anything above this will still think num1 is equal to 1. Um, so that's it for this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe or to comment like and subscribe and uh, subscribe to the show um, so and uh, my channel obviously so uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you next time.